let me welcome you my dear students this is our fifth learning session of teaching of literature with bs english 8th semester my dear students if you remember what we did last time we tried to learn the approaches to use literature and we tried to learn the uh, the teaching english or the teaching language through literature so my dear students it was about our previous lecture now we are going to discuss our today's lecture that we are going to discuss today the teaching of drama as well as the teaching of poetry so my dear students let's discuss the teaching of drama so dear students before i start my discussion on the teaching of drama let me discuss about the drama means what is a drama so dear students let me tell you that the word drama comes from the greek verb dram which means to do or to act so dear students in order to meaning of drama means it refers the definite type of fiction that is meant for stage performance my dear students we can simply say that a drama is a piece of writing which is artistically presented with dialogues we can simply say that a drama is attractive impactful and real as it presents characters along with a natural and credible aspects my dear students we can simply say that means drama is meant to be performed on stage or drama provides a live setting where the characters are real and demonstrated the story in a natural way so dear student what we learn today about drama means drama the word drama comes from the greek verb that is dram which means to do or to act means if we talk about the older meaning of drama it refers to definite type of fiction that is meant for stage performance if we talk about means drama we can say that a drama is a piece of writing which is artistically presented with dialogues and it it is attractive impactful and real as it presents characters along with natural and credible aspects so drama is meant to be performed on stage and drama provides a live setting where the characters are real and demonstrated the story in a natural way so dear students let's discuss the teaching of drama so dear students let me tell you that literature includes various genres for example means poetry drama prose fiction <clears throat> we can say that it has become one of the successful and effective aspect of literature or teaching or teaching literature so dear students drama is taught not only to please and to instruct the le learners but also to develop in their the skill of interaction for example if a teacher calls some students and asks them to this these are the dialogues then uh, you people means perform it like a drama means so uh, when the people means when the uh, students use their dialogues Uh, means as they are presenting the drama means it enhance their skill uh, skill of communication and as well as not only their communication skill but uh, it enhance the confidence in that students so drama is taught not only to please and instruct the learners but also to develop in them the skill of interaction so what is interaction means interaction therefore is the main aim of teaching drama to language learners means teaching drama can benefit the uh, language learners in various way how means the principle of teaching drama what are the principles means the principle of teaching drama are as follows means general principles and the specific principles let's discuss first the general principles 
means the general principle is that means it includes the following points what what are the points means it develop means it develops or the developing the vocabulary in learners uh, means it simple means if, if a person is reading drama or if a person performing a drama it develops the vocabulary in the learner and it develops the skill of literal interpretation means if a person is uh, means reading a drama and the teacher asks to interpret these things in in his or her way means it enhance the skill of interpretation so the next one is the specific principle so let's discuss the <coughs> specific principle so it includes the following points means it develops the skill of interaction how means ex it ex uh, means it is useful to expire the language in conversation means it uh, it develops the understanding what someone really means as you people know it enhances the skill of interaction so it also enhances the uh, means we say that the understanding what the other one says I mean, what is the meaning of the other people? So means it ordering and sequencing in conversation means um if a person read out a drama if or if a person perform the drama it means um he knows or yes or she knows how to conversate in in a different com context. So finding status and relationship. means through drama a person can get the knowledge of how to find status and relationship and it develops the skill of critical reading as you people know means drama not only enhance the critical uh, thinking but it also develops the critical reading as well it also means it uh, it is useful in developing the skill of critical thinking and creative writing means skill of imagination a person can get how to imaginate things means how to means read a text critically and he, uh, it also develops the thinking in the person means which kind of themes are used in it when how uh, which theory is applied by the uh, means writer and uh, how we can imply different theories in a particular context so it uh, it is very useful and specific principle I means these are some principles so this is about the specific principle now we are going to discuss the strategies for teaching drama let me tell you that means connect personal experience to event in the drama which are the teachers can help by using good question questioning techniques I means what the people learn in it so visualize the characters as you read stage direction for example means if a teacher says means these are the characters include in this drama then you can read out the things and evaluate the character as well so evaluate characters words and actions and determine what motivate them and notice character change compare uh, means compare characters means it is a uh, means it is the technique of reading or teaching drama that a teacher can tell a student that how can you read out a text means if a teacher says that this is this is the text and you can read the text and what do you think when which kind of character is it means about what is the character and how you can uh, say that I mean is it the correct means how can simple is that the teacher can say I means this is the character I means find out that uh, what are the traits in it and what is what do you think about the character I means which kind of imagination you can get by this character so the next one is the make a three column chart means it depends on the teacher means which technique he is using means let me tell you means if a teacher says that this is the means he draw some he or she draws some uh, means three columns and says means this is the character and then this the second column talks about the traits and the third column talks about the characteristics of that character so and tells about for example let me tell you that about the dr faustus 
means we are talking about the play dr foster's and the teacher says means this is the correct uh, and uh, means read out the text and tell about I mean tell me about the traits of dr foster and what are the characteristics of that uh, particular uh, character so uh, means the first one is the make three column chart and the second one is the fill in the chart as you read means it depends on the student how he get the uh, means knowledge so for um, this is an example so let me tell you means about the dr foster means the and the character is dr foster and uh, let me tell you about the traits means dr foster is an educated person he is the protagonist and tragic hero so we can say that the contradictory character means he is capable of tremendous uh, eloquence and possess and we can say that the possessing a uh, awesome ambition yet prone to the strange almost willful blindness and a willingness to waste power that he has gained at great cost so these are the traits of dr foster's and let me tell you about the characteristics of dr foster's means the um, simple is that dr foster is a flat character means uh, we can simply say that since the uh, uh, start till end means dr foster's is a flat character for example means he is a brilliant man at the crossroad foster's having received every academic uh, accolade and begins demonstrating and means uh, we say the uh, demons uh, demonstrating and uh, seminars means he most obvious character trait is his means hubris god defying pride that uh, means portrayed many a greek protagonist so simple is that means he is a flat character Uh, if we talk about the start means in start we find the pride in it and till end we find the same character so this is the flat character and uh, means this is an example of means how a teacher use this method to this um, uh, for the students and tells that this is an example now you people find out different characters from different dramas so the next one is the analyze monologue and soliloquies means if we uh, teacher says means this is the character now it's upon you how do you analyze the monologues and soliloquy so read the play aloud and uh, means if a student read the uh, play aloud he can get different things in it means identify the setting and evaluate how the setting affect the play's mood and identify major and minor conflict in it so this is about the means teaching of uh, drama now we are going to discuss about the poetry means teaching of poetry so dear students let's discuss first the definition of poetry so my dear students the distinction between historian and poet is not in the way in means one writing prose and the other verse no means it is one describes the thing that has been and the other a kind of thing that might be for example if we talk about the poetry means poetry is written in uh, in uh, verse but in uh, in a beautiful style but what is prose prose is simply uh, means arrangement of the words so hence poetry is something more philosophical and of grave important than history since its statements are of the nature rather than universal whereas those of history are singular so uh, this is the definition given by the uh, aristotle in his book on poetics now we are going to discuss the next definition which is the poetry is the art of uniting pleasure with truth so this definition is given by the samuel johnson so the next definition is given by the william wordsworth and he says that poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings means if a person visits some place 
and uh, means uh, after some, some time he feels that he is again going to the same place and the emotions that evokes in his mind that is called the poetry and it takes its origin from emotions recollected in tranquility so this is about the definition of william wordsworth <clears throat> now we are going to discuss the teaching of poetry so whether you are teaching at school level or higher level a poetry lesson can be engaging for all it if you take a few things into consideration first means what are these things that examine your attitude toward poetry determine your goals and learn the terminologies select the poem and practice reading so let's discuss that how you examine your attitude toward poetry before you teach poetry you must first consider your own thoughts and feelings on the subject means perhaps you love all things like poetry so you can do nothing but inspire students with your uh, enthusiasm means it is about your feelings how you feel while uh, means reading a poetry it explains about your feelings to the students and however most people have at least a few biases against poetry or preconceived notion about it so you may prefer means formal rhymed poetry and see free verse as so much nonsense so maybe you love the modern work of living breathing means you are breathing a poet means but you most it is it is dependent on you you must be forced to greet the classics being aware awareness of the tendencies will keep you um, it depends on you that from unfair influences the opinion of your class and can help you strive or the strive of balance for the poetry you you are going to take the next one is the determine the goal means before playing uh, means planning any lesson you should determine the goal this is especially important with poetry means because you can take several uh, different approaches to the subject each requiring different perception means preparations for example means uh, uh, either you are uh, reading this poetry for the purpose of enjoyment for the purpose of literary analysis or the purpose of creative writing so let's discuss that enjoyment you may simply wish the student for students to gain an overall appreciation of poetry so you can plan your lessons around enjoying the poetry or the poetry you read so have fun with the rhyme or the rhythm of the words look for intriguing uh, means Im- images and find poems with inspiring messages and themes and if if you I means the next one is the literary analysis in many classes poetry is studied with an eye on I means dissecting the meaning so it emphasizes a, the emphasis the emphasis is on identifying literary techniques like simile metaphor evaluating their effectiveness so simple is that this analytical approach can sometimes hinder students enjoyment of poetry but such analysis is also important skill so finding is in a balanced way means a student can get the enjoyment as well as the literary analysis so the next one is the creative writing so the focus may also be on leading students to creative their own poetry student means experiment with a variety of forms of poetry as well uh, means as a way of expressing themselves however this approach usually involves reading a wide range of poetry for inspiration so uh, means it depends on the teacher how he develops the things means it depends on the means determine the goal either teacher wants to uh, get the enjoyment in students and or he just want to tell them how to get the uh, means literary analysis or the creative writing in the students so the next one is the learn the terminology if you are going to uh, means discussing poetry you need to learn the proper language 
you will need to know the a uh, form of poetry uh, means uh, from heck you to sonnet and the uh, the techniques poets use the uh, building up in a specific work so if you don't feel comfortable with poetic devices and form look for the literary refer reference text so basically it means a teacher need to tell about the uh, literary text um, sorry the literary i mean devices before reading the text or the teaching the poetry the next one is to select the poems means it depend totally dependent on the teacher means finding the right poem for the lesson is a bit of a treasure hunt means in some situations you will be teaching poetry from a required text so you won't have much say in the poem you say so if you have a choice start by browsing uh, through collection of the poetry at the library or the bookstore think back to the poems you studied in school or have read for your own enjoyment and choose a few of your favorite one so you should also look for poems illustrating techniques uh, means it's simple is that means you just want to uh, means select the poems and then tell about the means different eras and genders and, uh, means nationalities and races about and explains about each thing in the literature and the last one is the practice reading means poetry is meant to be read aloud so read each poem through uh, means several time to get a feel for it and to decide how to read it in the best effect so what word will you emphasize and what will you pause it if you are not comfortable with your poetry performance skill look for the audience or the audio uh, files of the professional readers or even the poets reading their own poems uh, which these points in mind you will ready to plan and successful poetry lesson so this is about our lecture thank you so much allah hafiz